brainwave states. Our modern research has only just begun to scratch the surface of what brainwave states actually are. It's becoming more obvious that they play a huge role in our potential for healing, growth and transcendence. Here at I Am Sound, we always love to work with both the left brain and the right brain. It's important to be willing to explore both the science and the magic of our world. Perhaps you've heard of brain hacking or altered states of consciousness, maybe being in the flow or in the zone. All of these terms are attributed to brainwave states. So what are they? With links to big tech, spirituality, creativity, anxiety, science, meditation, and so much more, it's impossible to ignore the growing popularity of brainwave states. Prepare to go down the rabbit hole. This is a deep one. Brainwaves are measured by their speed, in hertz, which measures how many waves there are per second, which coincidentally is also how we measure sound frequencies. Slower frequencies result in us feeling slower, dreamy or more sleepy, while our faster frequencies results in us feeling active, alert and sometimes even wired. Our brain waves change based on what we're doing and how we're feeling. These changes allow us to enter different parameters called brainwave states. They're categorized into five states and each have their own benefits. Gamma brainwaves are the fastest of the known states. Although they can be hard to measure accurately, they tend to measure above 35 Hertz and can oscillate as fast as 100 Hertz. Our brain tends to produce gamma waves when we're intensely focused or actively engaged in solving a problem. They're associated with exceptional intelligence, compassion and strong self-control. People who tend to exist in this state more frequently often have higher IQs. Beta brainwaves are recognized between 13 to 35 Hertz. People spend most of their time in beta state. It's how we operate in our day-to-day -day activity, such as work, exercise or cleaning. There are three levels of beta. The low range, which is used when reading, the mid-range, which is associated with good levels of healthy stress and a focused mind, and the high range, associated with arousal and our survival mode, which includes fear, anger, panic, anxiety, depression, and any type of suffering. Too much time in high beta is also connected to a weakened immune system due to an increase in cortisol release, which is the stress hormone. If you drop down to the next stage, you reach alpha, which lies between 7 and 13 hertz. This is where the flow state begins, the gateway to deeper mental planes. Mind chatter slows down, and everyday thoughts and worries melt away. It's a great space for learning, for studying, and even reversing the brain's aging. Alpha brainwaves are associated with calm, peaceful states of relaxation. They release serotonin and endorphins. Increased alpha activity can help to reduce stress, anxiety and depression. Deeper than alpha is theta, between 4 and 7 hertz. Here exists your biggest and most abundant source of creativity. This state appears in trance-like states that are vivid, dreamlike and can leave you feeling more open and connected. Here you gain access to the subconscious mind. Theta brainwaves are also associated with visualization, with insight, intuition, inspiration, and a release of serotonin and emotional intelligence. At the bottom of the ocean of brainwave states exists delta, between zero and four hertz. Many scientists believe this to be the most beneficial state, a super healing mode best for building the immune system and rejuvenation and health restoration. There are many scientific studies out there dedicated to discovering the magical potential of this state. We spend most of our time in beta state, 
but there are many benefits to accessing the other states, something we can actively do via various practices. We can explore these states for relaxation, but we can reap creative benefits too. There are many examples across the worlds of science, business and arts, where dream states have inspired some of humanity's greatest contributions. For example, Thomas Edison, inventor of the filament bulb and the phonograph, attributed many of his key insights to the liminal space we reach between wakefulness and sleep. Larry Page had the concept of Google arrive in a dream and Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones recorded the opening lines to the hit Satisfaction in the middle of a sleep cycle, with no recollection of having done so. There are many more examples of game-changing ideas arising from theta and delta brainwave states. To find out more, check out the links below. Have you accessed one of these states recently? How did you reach these states? And did you get the benefits of feeling calm, creative, or even heal yourself in some way? Share and comment below. We'd love to hear more about your journey with I Am Sound.